Yo, what is going on, everybody? This is RBT, and welcome back to another episode of the Cleveland Browns Madden 18 Connected Franchise Series. This day is a pretty exciting episode as we are going to be jumping into the NFL Draft. Hopefully going to get some pretty awesome players. We do have the number one overall draft pick, so we're probably going to go after a quarterback, which is going to lead our future for this series and hopefully win the Super Bowl in year number one. Now, if you guys did miss last episode, we did go over NFL free agency, made a ton of signings, so be sure to go check it out if you haven't already. There's always going to be a link to the full playlist of the series in the description box of every single episode, so if you ever get behind on the series, go check out the playlist and catch up in the description box below. But with that said, boys, be sure to drop a like on today's episode if you do enjoy. Let's see if we can hit 2,000 likes once again. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't. Also, be sure to leave your trade suggestions in the comment section below because the trades are going to begin at the beginning of next episode, so be sure not to miss out on that. But with that said, first of all, what we do need to do is look at the team and see where we need to look at players in this draft. We do have two draft picks in the first round. Now, we definitely need a quarterback, probably a wide receiver as well. We have David Njoku, so no real need for a tight end. Maybe an offensive tackle. I mean, we do have Joe Thomas at left tackle. But maybe a quarterback and wide receiver. Defensively, we need anybody at the linebacker position. Maybe a safety as well. Our defensive line is okay, so no D lineman. So maybe, maybe a middle linebacker. So maybe any linebacker, really. Maybe an outside linebacker. Maybe a safety, maybe a cornerback to help with depth. I don't know. We have a lot of positions of need. Henry Berry has had an exceptional college career, but is he the top pick in this year's NFL draft? Maybe that's telling me that's who I need to pick. So with that, let's start drafting. That was... Hello? Hello? 20 minutes later, here we go let's see if it actually works this time and there we go we are in the draft now let's just sit back calm down pause the draft now let's make our selection and i think we're gonna go with the quarterback now keep in mind i have the auto scouting on so hopefully they, they scouted our players like good <laughs> so we have a couple first round quarterbacks we got henry berry who's projected an early first rounder josh Steele, who's also an early first rounder Hanson Dietrich Smith, who's also an early first rounder, and Jonathan Grease, who's a mid first rounder. So it's going to be between one of the first three guys. This guy has a 5.6, 6.2, 5.7. He has an A minus throw power, B plus throw in the run. So, like, the only difference in between these two guys is the fact that this guy has better throw power than this guy. They both have B plus throw in the run. This guy's 6'3. That's 6'5. What? does a man do? Do I go with Josh or do I go with Henry? You're probably screaming at me. At me. There's probably something I, I don't know that I should know. So this guy's faster than Henry, that's for sure. But like, what do I go on? Because Henry has, they have the same exact, they have the same throw on the run, the same throw accuracy short, but Josh has better throw power. So I have to go with him, right? Better combine grade. All of his combine reports are like better. Like, he's, is he stronger? He's stronger? Dude, I, and like, but I'm scared though. Because all the things, like all the, all the, the pre-draft little stories was talking about Henry. But I think I'm going to go with Josh. This might be a massive mistake. The only, I'm going with Josh because he has better throw power. I, I, I think I'd be dumb not to go with Josh. And he's faster? Do I, I'm going to go with Josh. I'm going to go with Josh. Josh is a 79 overall. Oh my god, eat me out. He has normal development, and he's a 79 overall. Jesus Christ. Henry was the man. Henry was the man to be picked. Dude, we can still get Henry. Dude, should I trade up and get Henry? Should I trade up and get Henry and trade away the other guy we just got? Is that the move? Or maybe Henry will fall to me. Is that what we do? Is that what we do here? So, I'm going to skip ahead to the next user pick. Is Henry going to be gone? Henry's still there. Oh, shoot, man. Henry's still there. Henry is still there, my dudes. Or should we trade down? I don't know what to do, man. I'm, I'm stressing. I'm stressing. So, let's trade away the pick. 
Let's, let, we're gonna see what offers we have though. So all these offers suck. These offers are trash. Like, for the most part, yeah, these offers suck. So I think what we're just gonna pick here, I guess. And what do we do though? Make the selection. And do we go ahead and pick Henry? Dude, I want to pick Henry and then trade away that other quarterback for somebody else. But I don't know what to do now. I need a cornerback is what I need. And I need a wide receiver. Are there any good wide receivers here? There's a couple good wide receivers. This guy's a mid-first rounder. This guy's another mid-first rounder. They're all late first rounder. Maybe I could get one of them in the second. How about we also needed a right tackle. Any good right tackles? No, there's not. How about any good linebackers? Angel, he's not good. Middle linebacker, there's no good middle linebackers. Outside linebacker, no good outside linebackers. Cornerback, there's one good cornerback. He's a late first rounder. Where are all the first round draft picks? We have two safeties, but they're projected mid rounders. How about strong safety? There's another mid first rounder. There's another mid first rounder. Dude, what do I do? What do I actually do? How about, did I look at defensive ends by chance? We already have a bunch of good defensive ends, and there's no point in taking one of these guys. So I, do I just take the quarterback and then trade the other quarterback away? Like, seriously, I'm going to do it. I'm going to have so many people probably mad at me, but I'm going to take Henry. And Henry is a 79. He's the same exact rating, but he's a superstar. Well, that was a fail. That was an absolute fail. So let's advance. We'll trade one of the quarterbacks away, man. I just wanted to make sure I had a good quarterback. So here we go. Let's go ahead and pick our second round draft pick. So let's make our selection. Any good like players left? So there's a good defensive end, a good tight end. We need, to get, we need to get a wide receiver, but all these guys are scattered fully, and they are not good. They are not good players. So I don't know what to do right now. So can we trade down, actually, and get a first round draft pick by chance? We can get a first round draft pick from next year. Any seconds? We get a second, and then a second from next year as well. A first from next year, a first from next year. I think I'm just going to try to draft somebody here, but who do I draft? I need a cornerback, maybe. I need a cornerback, I need a linebacker, or maybe a safety. Is there any good players left? Now, they're all third rounders, second rounder. Oh my god, dude, where are all the players? Where are all the players? I need a cornerback, maybe. But I don't have any of these guys scouted. That's the problem. This guy is projected a mid-second rounder. We do need an outside linebacker. Maybe I go with him. He's from Harvard, so he has to be a smart man. I need an outside linebacker. Maybe that's the only thing I can do at this point, really. This guy's a first-round draft pick, mid-first rounder. He's fell all the way to this point, but I don't need him, though. Or do I? Do I pick him? He's 6'7". I think I'm going to go with the man. I think I'm going to go with the man and pick him. Either him or the outside linebacker. We could convert him back to outside linebacker if we needed him to. Let's just get him. And he's going to be a 75 overall. I mean, he's a, sec he's a good pick, but... Man, I feel like we could have done so much better. I'm so pissed at myself. But those quarterbacks suck, dude. Like, what the heck? That's completely screwed me over. So we have another draft pick right here. So we might just go ahead and try to get a wide receiver. Maybe that's what we do. But th there's no good wide receivers, man. Okay, that linebacker is still available. Carol McBride, I'm going to pick him. And he's a 71 overall. Are you kidding me? Are there, like, any good players in this freaking draft? Like, this has been a pathetic draft class, dude. Like, what the heck? Like, what is going on? So let's pick a player here. I don't know who to pick. I have no idea who to pick. This guy, Travis Blevins. He's an early first rounder. Like, do I just pick Travis? Do I do it? Because he's the only player we have scouted that's half decent. Or do we go with the cornerback? Do we just... Man, I need a cornerback. I'm just going to get Dondre. And he's a 70. He's 96 speed, though. That's actually pretty freaking solid. He's a freaking blazing man. So let's go to the next draft pick. Man, this has gone absolutely awful, man. We're not getting anybody good. Travis just went. So go ahead and pick a player here. But there's like nobody I want, man. About wide receiver-wise, there's n every wide receiver is projected undrafted. I don't understand what that's about. Like, why are they so bad? Like... His B plus catching, B minus spec catch. Should I just draft one of these guys just for the heck of it? I think I'm gonna do it. Why not? Let's see what he is. No, what? Oh Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! That was bad. That never am I doing that ever again. Uh, 
Ooh, everybody hates watching me draft, and I don't under I understand why now. Because this has been an absolute, like, nightmare. So do I... Okay, this guy we have scouted, he's a projected third rounder. A late third rounder. This guy is also a projected third late rounder. So let's go... Let's go with the man. Let's go with the first man. Brendan Dudley. Please be something good. He's going to be a 72 overall. That's freaking better than like our second round draft pick. So that's actually probably been our best value for a pick this whole entire draft. Go ahead and skip into the fifth round. I don't know if we have any more draft picks. We have another fourth round draft pick. What type of like trade downs do we have? Do we have any like first rounders? We have a third for next year. It's a bunch of thirds. Like, why would I want to trade down for a fourth-round draft pick? Like, that's dumb. Like, that's so dumb. But anyways, there's really nothing. We can pick up a ninth from next, or seventh from next year. Like, is that good? Should I do that? I mean, I guess why not? Just pick up an extra seventh. And we'll get the next, we'll get a later draft pick in the fourth round. But, like, there's probably nobody, like, left. I can't believe I picked that wide receiver. He was a 61 overall. Like, what the heck? If one of those other first-round draft pick quarterbacks were over 80, I'm going to be a pissed-off man. So I don't think we have anybody else scouted, dude. This guy, Tareen Mitchell. He actually looks pretty good, honestly. B-plus tackling, B-plus hit power, B's block shedding. Dude, that's a good pick. Tareen Mitchell, 76 overall. In the, in the fourth round, 38th ranked. And true talent that's a pretty freaking awesome pick that like has saved a lot in this draft at least we got two players that's going to be good the quarterback is going to be okay and then that guy's probably going to be super good so we're in the fifth round now do we have anybody else scouted that's that good we go down on our draft board we might not have anybody else really scouted like everybody's like undrafted dude we have this guy or this guy chandler carmichael chandler or do we go with xavier Xavier doesn't look too bad, but we just got a right tackle earlier. Anybody else? Allen Blackburn? Allen doesn't look too bad, really. Like, I might as well get a third quarterback. Like, why not? Trade him away if we have to. I mean, gosh dang! He's about as good as the other two quarterbacks that we drafted. Allen Black, like, what the heck? Like, this is crazy. Like, we probably could trade him for something pretty good, too. Like, I, at this point, I was just like, we might as well just get guys we can trade away. So let's pick another player. See if one of those guys I had scouted are still available at this point. So we're going to go way down here. We have these guys are still available. Why not get him? We need a free safety. He's over like a 72. He's not. We had uh, we have Jabril Peppers, so maybe you can just back him up. We can trade him away. I don't know. This has been a disaster. We got At least we did get like two players that ended up probably going to be good. That quarterback and that middle linebacker we drafted pretty late. So it ended up being not awful, but it's not good either. Just going to go like with the top guy I have scouted. We have another free safety here. Why not get him, too? He's higher than the guy we just got last. He's one of the best draft picks we got the whole freaking draft. James. Freaking James. So we got a lot of drafted players in today's video. So let's make another selection. We've got, like, probably 10 draft picks already. Like, will we just go with a wide receiver? Like, no, like I can't believe there's no good wide receivers. How about another? This guy, A minus hit power, and he's a middle linebacker? Let's get him. 71, dude. Like, I just need to never scout ever again and just go with the players they have scouted for us. Like, that's the move, I guess. So last but not least, my men, that's it. So in recap, we got a couple good players. I don't think it's as bad as you guys are going to make it out to be. But, I mean, it was it was pretty bad. So we got three quarterbacks. Two quarterbacks we probably can trade away. Josh Steele ends up being not a steal. Henry's probably going to end up being our starter because he has the superstar development trait. And he's a 79, so we might as well go with him. And a lot of these guys just... I mean, we have a couple guys that might play for us. Like, but it was pretty freaking underwhelming, I must say. Like, I'm trying to see who the best draft pick was in the whole entire draft. This guy, I wish we would have got him. Wendell Oglesby, 82 overall. Curtis Fine, 81 overall running back. There's probably a lot of high overall running backs. Falcons are at a quarterback to 76, so uh, he might have been the next quarterback on my board. 78 overall for third round draft pick, that's not too good. A free safety Bronson, he would have been nice to get, 81 overall. But really, I don't see anybody too crazy. I think we probably did get the best two quarterbacks in the draft, because this guy was the seventh pick. He was the next guy on the board, he hits a 76. So maybe we just didn't get, we got unlucky, because there was really no good quarterbacks. This guy, thank God we didn't pick Angel. 68 overall first round draft pick, that's pretty trash. There had to be somebody out there. The Patriots got a bad guy. CJ ended up being a 66 overall. The highest I've seen is like an 82, though. 
This guy ended up being, this is the highest overall quarterback in the draft right here. Jonathan Grease, 80 overall, 86 speed. But the highest I've seen so far, I think, is that wide receiver, 82 overall. Texans didn't have a draft pick. Titans got a left guard. The Bills got two pretty good players in the first round. So the Bills, I think, did the best. So, man, I'm just looking out there, seeing what's in the universe. And there's a 74 overall rookie defensive tackle, Ellis Bailey, that I'm 100% going to sign to the squad. He's a 74 overall, so he's basically higher than half the guys we drafted. And he went as an undrafted free agent. Dude, freaking Jimmy. Jimmy's a punter. We need another punter. I'm going to get Jimmy. Dude, there's some freaking good rookie undrafted free agents. Parker Moy, he's a 72 overall. Don't mind if I do. A cornerback rookie out of Hawaii, Kelsheem Wilson, 72 overall. Don't mind if I do. And a 76 speed running back, Ahmad Jackson. Don't mind if I do. And also, there's a good wide receiver here, Artie Amos, 70 overall rookie. Might as well sign him up too. Well, I just completely accidentally signed this guy, so I guess Leonard's on the team. So we have a lot of quarterbacks now on our roster, and hopefully you guys like what I did. And we're gonna trade like a lot of these guys away, but whatever, we did what we had to do. And also did one more change like this. J.K. Scott has some long hair. Now with that said, boys, that is going to do it for today's NFL Draft episode. Now it is time to get serious about leaving your trade suggestions in the comment section below as the next episode will begin the trading portion of this series. But with that said, guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on the notification bell if you haven't, so do not miss any uploads of this series. With that said, I will catch you guys next time. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.